Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Paris's Burning, which becomes part of the Criterion Collection on February 25th, 2020. Uh, and it is one, it is the most, I would say, the most important uh, and entertaining uh, and well-crafted LGBTQ documentary ever committed to film. Uh, I love that Venus Extravaganza's face uh, is the one that's on the cover, uh, as she will be in the Criterion Collection, uh, which is getting better at, but has quite a limited number of uh, queer entries in its canon. Um, famously, uh, Jenny Livingston, uh, she hasn't directed another documentary feature since, although I hear there's one in the can. Uh, this premiered at the 1990 New York LGBT Film Festival uh, and then went on to Sundance in Berlin. It won the Teddy in Berlin. Um, 1991 Sundance was, uh, as B. Ruby Rich coined it, the birthplace of new queer cinema. Uh, and this is, for many, the first and in many cases only representation of black, uh, trans, Latino uh, characters committed to film. So. Its effects on Livingston paints a portrait of 1987-1988, late 80s New York and the drag ball scene uh, in a world that nobody had really ever seen before in mass quantity. Uh, from that scene, of course, Madonna's Vogue, uh, which was inspired by this drag ball community. Uh, you get a whole host of unforgettable characters, well, people uh, in the documentary from Pepper LaBeja to Dorian Corey to Willie Ninja, uh, Venus Extravaganza, who uh, sadly was murdered uh, before Livingston's film hit theaters, um, which was a six year uh, project in the making. Uh, it, its effects on, its influences on RuPaul's Drag Race uh, and Pose, of course, uh, you can't have one without the other. Uh, it's a trailblazing, important piece of documentary filmmaking. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you need to. And I envy anybody who is first uh, seeing and enjoying and learning from these people for the first time. Um, the extra features on the uh, Criterion release are also, I'd say, equally as important. As somebody that's watched this film over and over, uh, this is the first time I was able to see any outtakes, and there are well over an hour of outtakes on the documentary uh, and that are laid out very uh, similar in, as the chapters Livingston points out in the film. Uh, there's a, a conversation filmed in 2019 with uh, Jenny Livingston, uh, Thomas Allen Harms, and then uh, Saul and Freddie Pendavis. Uh, there's also, it, it's a little cringy, but uh, worth a watch, uh, 1991 segment on the Joan Rivers show uh, where she brings Jordan Corey and Pepper LeBeja and Willie Ninja and Kim Pendavis and uh, Jenny Livingston on for a whole segment. Uh, there are a lot of faux pas, but uh, you can see why Ms. Rivers was uh, considered an ally. Uh, this is a seminal film, no matter who you are. Uh, I give Paris is Burning five out of five stars and um, Criterion's release 5 out of 5 as well. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.